Hi, welcome back to another live episode of Cheers to a Savvy Home. I'm Christine Holt, your Jersey Shore real estate agent. Um, so in today's episode, um, you know, if home ownership and house hunting have been on your mind lately, you won't want to miss this month's video series. I've officially launched my first time home buyer bootcamp, uh, which means this month I'll be sharing everything you need to know to have a successful home buying experience, and I'm going to help you out every step of the way. Today's week two, and we're diving into what you need to know about getting pre-approved. I like to call this getting serious because without a pre-approval, you are not ready to start home buying or home hunting, to be honest, or write an offer, which means no buying. First, I promise uh, getting pre-approved isn't as scary as it sounds. It's actually going to help you start the home buying process with more confidence because you'll know which loan options best. You can real what, which loan is best and also what you can realistically afford, how much money you'll need to put down and what your monthly payments are going to look like in all the different price ranges. So um, fill up your coffee cup, water bottle or wine glass and join me for today's mini training. So first, uh, let's talk about what it means to get pre-approved and why it's important. So getting pre-approved means you have submitted the required information and documentation to the lender, who then runs your credit and verifies the documentation to approve you for a specific loan amount. They'll need information such as proof of income, employment verification, credit score, social security number, um, and maybe some other items, but they'll let you know what that is. It's important because you'll need that pre-approval in order to write an offer. A seller won't most likely not negotiate with, um, with you if you haven't been pre-approved because that comes with a large risk for them if you, don't, if you can't buy the house. It's also important so that you know what your monthly expenses are based on a specific loan amount. Oftentimes, buyers don't want to spend the max amount that they're pre-approved for because they, um, they don't want what it equates to that payment monthly. There's, you know, you have your, what you're approved for, but then you have to add in your taxes to that, your homeowner's insurance, and then you have other living living expenses and bills. So maxing your loan amount, your loan amount out, may mean that you're sacrificing family vacations, your entertainment budget, or anything else that might be important to you. So that's important. Um, what happens if I start house hunting prior to getting pre-approved? Well, because licensed real estate agents know the importance of getting pre-approved, it's unlikely that they'll start the house hunting process without a pre-approved letter from a buyer. In fact, I have a list of lender partners that I trust and team up with um, that help my buyers get pre-approved. We are all in this together. You don't have to do it alone. That's how I make the process less scary and intimidating for my clients. You also want to run your credit and determine the house hunting price range to make sure there aren't any unknown issues in your credit that need to be addressed. If you haven't had your credit run recently, there might be something on there that you don't know about or something you may need to repair that you weren't, you know, you didn't realize you, realize you needed to repair uh, prior to getting the mortgage. So to ensure that you can get the best loan option and interest rate possible, this way many lenders work with the buyers to improve their credit score or make those changes and that will posi position you in the best place possible. Lastly, can you imagine if you skip this process or this step, I should say, and you fall in love with the home and you become emotionally attached to it and then realize it's out of your price range. Or even worse, you figure out that it technically is in your price range, but turns out to be way more than you're comfortably spending monthly. Um, so either you wrote a contract on it, which 
mo most of the time wouldn't happen and you're stuck buying it at that point. Or, um, you know, now you're, you're heartbroken. You're, you, you can't get the house and you're just heartbroken. I'm not, I don't want you to feel that way. So figuring this all out in advance will allow you to start your home search with confidence and set you up for success. You'll also be able to take the time to find a lender that you feel comfortable with and understand all your options ahead of time. Remember, the pre-approval process is about getting serious and positioning yourself to make smart real estate decisions rather than winding up with either buyer's remorse or unwanted surprises along the way. Once you're officially pre-approved, the house hunting can begin, which is exactly what we're gonna talk about next in next week's video. I'll be sharing what you need to know, how the process works, and how I set up your custom home search for you. That'll all be next Thursday at one o'clock live right here. But for now, thanks for tuning in to this week's live episode of Cheers to a Savvy Home. If you have any specific questions about the pre-approval process or want me to share my list of trusted partners with you, please send me a DM, comment below, and I will be more than happy to help. Have a fantastic day and cheers.